dosage for CJC-1295 depends on whether you are using it with DAC or without DAC. The recommended dosage for CJC with DAC is two milligrams injected subcutaneously once per week. For CJC without DAC, the recommended dosage is 200 to 300 micrograms daily injected subcutaneously. This should be done about 30 to 60 minutes before bed on an empty stomach. As with any peptide, I always recommend to start low and go slow. The reason for doing this is to assess your tolerance to the peptide. While CJC-1295 has a good safety profile, it's always prudent to start low and go slow. In this case, you would start with about half the recommended dosage, which would equate to 100 micrograms. Use this amount for your first dose, and if you feel good after that, continue to increase by 50 micrograms each day until you reach the desired level of 200 to 300 micrograms. To prevent desensitization of GHRH receptors, I personally recommend following a schedule of four to five days on and one to two days off. For example, you might use CJC from Monday through Thursday and then take Friday off and then pick it back up again on Saturday. Alternatively, if you prefer to have a set schedule for each week, rather than having to keep track of the days, you can simply use the peptide from Monday through Friday and then take Saturday and Sunday off, repeating the schedule every week. Generally speaking, you should use CJC-1295 for a duration of about eight to 12 weeks, and then take eight to 12 weeks off. Research to date indicates that CJC is generally well tolerated when administered at the dosage I just mentioned. As with any peptide, there's always the possibility of injection site reactions. Some common minor side effects from using CJC include redness or irritation at the injection site, minor headaches and or dizziness, flushing, and water retention. Typically, these occur while using the DAC version. CJC without DAC has a much lower incidence of these reactions, which is why I personally recommend using the no DAC version.